Hi, welcome to this uh, two-part series of um, defining organization hierarchies and that is uh, defining organization hierarchies for the Oracle eBusiness uh, 11i that is release 3. We'll use the super HRMS responsibility and uh, define first an organization then in a second part we will assemble and secure this or organization according to their hierarchy to their planned hierarchy. All right, we're looking for uh, work structures, uh, organizations, and define description. Sorry, to this uh, to define the organization itself. So that's positions, and here we go with defining the organization itself. Before you even start with this, you want to choose that effective date button rarely used effective date button to actually say at which date your organization was effective maybe a date where software didn't exist or won't <laughs> um, or the actual date January 2004 at which you created your organization say OK and click new and you have this date defaulting in but you need a name for your organization so let's go with Australia Canada Victoria, Victoria Operating Unit. Okay, so Victoria Operating Unit will be obviously of a type Operating Unit now, and uh, we'll um, we'll want to make it a obviously an operating unit, not a constituency, a inventory organization, um, or others. All right, so they defaulted in. I need an address. It uh, should be an address that where this operating unit is based, internal or external. Now it's of type internal. And if it is a legal entity, you do want to make it a government reporting entity. So here we go with GRE, legal entity. Choose enable and don't forget to save every time you move from one sub sub record to another. Um, also, I'll make it a operating. Uh, unit since it is an operating unit itself that would be easy to define and it hires people works with cost centers HR organization as well so um, we have the uh, legal entity um, a set of books we want uh, this organization to report to vision operation uh, set of books leave the VAT registration blank and don't forget to save um, when you click OK because if you don't you get this little error message the warning message that says you need to save every time you modify something having defined a set of books now click yes having defined a set of books now it is actually easy to define it a uh, the operating unit uh, classification since itself is an operating unit and has already uh, the uh, set of books um, define it will be easy to make it a Victoria operating unit with uh, the set of books vision operation as we defined before we save control s click OK and we're done here all right so that was uh, the first uh, the first part of uh, defining an organization hierarchy you need to define your organization first and then we will obviously assemble that in a second uh, video. There is a second half to this video and please click on the link provided if you wish to follow it. Uh, it's also available on YouTube.